In today's video, we are going to have a look at how we can add some orbit controls to our React 3 Fiber scene. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome to my channel. So far in this series, we have done an introduction on React 3 Fiber, so I highly recommend if you want to follow along, go and check out the introduction of this course. This will get you to this point where we have a spinning cube and a lovely Next.js setup with React and React 3 Fiber. In the introduction video, we learned how to do this setup and learn more about the core concepts of React 3 Fiber. But now we have this cube spinning and how cool would it be if we had some controls that we can move the camera around this cube. That's where orbit controls come into play. Now, orbit controls actually exist in the 3JS library, and you can see that this is how you would set it up in a normal 3JS application. You instantiate a new orbit controls and pass it a camera and the renderer's DOM element. Now, how do we take this implementation and apply it to our application in React 3 Fiber? As we've seen before, in order to instantiate orbit controls, we would need access to the camera as well as the DOM element from the renderer. How do we get that if we don't even see the camera? Well, that's where hooks come into play. We dealt with hooks before if we look at the animated box component that we created. We used this use frame hook that the 3 fiber library provides for us and this gave us access to the underlying render loop. But now there's a new hook that we can learn about. If we go to the documentation, we can see that there's a hook called use3. And this hook exposes a few different things for us coming from the canvas. For example, over here, this hook, the use3 hook, is used to extract the size but we need access to a camera and DOM element. So if we go down, we can actually see the state properties that the use3 hook exposes. And over here, we can see that the GL prop exposes the renderer for us. And we can get access to the camera. So that means that we can actually use those to create orbit controls for us. Let's now go back to the code and go to the index.tsx file. Over here in the imports, I'm going to import the orbit controls and this will come from the three library. Then, as well as the canvas, I want to actually import the use three hook because that's what we'll need to use to create our new control component. Then let's go ahead and create a new component and this component will be our camera orbit controller. For this component, we will need to make use of the camera and the global object. So we need the camera and the global object and this will come from the use three hook that we've seen. So now we are using it over here. We also can just return null because this element or this component doesn't need to return anything. We're simply going to instantiate the orbit controller. And now I'm going to introduce you to a new hook. And this hook is the use effect hook. The use effect hook comes from React itself. And it's used within functional components to always kick off whatever is in this brackets over here only once when the component starts up, unless we have dependencies, which we do have. We have the camera and the global object. Whenever these change, this will create for us a new orbit controls or whatever we put in these brackets. I've noticed that I've been referring to this GL as the global object, but it is the web GL renderer. So the camera and the renderer. In the use effect, what we want to instantiate is a new controls object. And this will be a new orbit controls, the one that we've imported from 3JS. And what do we need to pass it? Well, first of all, we can see that it needs a camera 
and a DOM element. We already have our camera and from our renderer we can get the DOM element. And now we have our controls. With the normal components in the React 3 fiber such as directional light, ambient light and mesh and so on, we never need to dispose of them because that's what React 3 fiber handles and React when it unmounts. But because this is our own custom component, we still need to handle that. So what we're going to do is return the cleanup function and all we need to call here is the controls.dispose. This means that whenever this component demounts or unmounts, it's going to dispose of the controls. And that is it. There is our new camera orbit controller. So what we can do in the canvas is actually import this. So we're just going to do that. And when we save this and go back to our application, we should be able to control the camera and orbit around the cube. And indeed, when we save and refresh the page, we can see that we can now spin around our cube, zoom out, zoom in, move it around. We are not moving the cube, but we are simply moving the camera around. And now we got some orbit controls within our scene. Let's keep to good practice. And what we can do now is in the components folder, create a new file and call this the camera orbit controller.tsx. Then go and cut this code out, paste it in here, export default, and we're going to export our camera like so. And we need our dependency. So let's go and grab the use effect. We're also going to need the orbit controls. And we need to use only use three. And we can get rid of three in this file. So now that we have this here, all we need to do is import it. So we're going to say import the camera orbit controller from our components. And now we have separated the files and our main file looks very clean as well as our application still works wonderfully. So that is it. That is how you add some controls and a custom component in React 3 Fiber. So in this video, you got to learn how to add a class, in this case, Orbit Controls from 3JS as a custom component, making use of the Use3 hook to extract the camera and the WebGL renderer to instantiate a new custom controller. I hope you learned a lot in this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And in the next video, we are going to further our knowledge in the React 3 Fiber and 3JS space. I hope you have a fantastic day. See you in the next video. Cheers for now.